Hello everyone. Now I am going to explain you about eccentric connections in design of steel structures. Uh, eccentric connections means the point, uh, the load point. Means this is the load point. Uh, when the line of action of the load, when the line of action of the load does not pass through the center of gravity of the weld group. Means this is the line of action of the load and the center of gravity is here and the line of action of the load is in this direction and it is not passed through the center of gravity so then it is called uh, eccentric load this eccentric load is from distance from center of gravity to load point suppose this is a column this is a steel column and this is one plate bracket plate or gusset plate um, uh, practically this is welding portion this red portion is called welding portion practically uh, we use uh, these eccentric connections for extra supports if suppose this is one column face this is side view of the column and this is bracket plate uh, by using welding we connected these two plates okay and right now i'm uh, going to solve one example problem i'm taking the same diagram and i allotted the values this is the problem design the size of the weld for figure shown below so i uh, i'm having the values from here to here distance 120 and this one is 100 and we need to calculate the e eccentric value and load is p that is 100 kilo newtons and radial distance is r and this is the welding portion and this is bracket plate and this one is steel column okay now we are going to calculate the size of the weld not length of the weld the size of the weld already uh, length here we mentioned that this is 120 and this is 240 and this is 120 so we need to calculate the size of the weld and now i am going to explain the solution uh, let t be the throat thickness of the weld required so, t means i mean throat thickness means thickness of this one yeah this this th thickness of this weld so we need to calculate the thickness of the weld that's why i am taking it as t next x bar is the distance of center of gravity of the weld center of gravity of the weld means from vertical weld to this distance this is x axis and this is y axis and x bar means center of gravity of this portion from distance from here to here okay i am going to calculate x bar for that x bar we need that x bar formula is a1 y1 by capital a for that a means capital a means area of the weld area of the weld is I am taking the two portions here. This is one portion and this is another portion. So area of the weld is 240. First I am taking this rectangle. This rectangle. So rectangle uh, area formula is L into B. So L is 240 and B is width of this weld. So that is T. So 240 into T that is that's why I wrote here 240 into T plus next section 120 into T. So this one. This one is another rectangle that is 120 into thickness of this weld l into b that is t and into 2 into 2 means i am doing both sides welding both sides welding that's why multiplication multi multiplication with 2 so that is 480 into t so x bar is a1 by 1 by capital a so a1 is 120 into t area we know that 60 half of this section okay this portion is half of this section is 120 and in this half that is 60 into thickness is t and we do both sides welding that's why i wrote it as 2 total a1 by 1 by that is capital a i got 30 mm 30 mm 30 mm is nothing but distance from vertical weld to center of the gravity that is x bar now we are going to uh, we are going to calculate moment of inertia why we are going to calculate uh, why we are calculating the moment of inertia because this is y y axis and this is x x axis and perpendicular axis is i z z i z z is like this i z z is perpendicular to both uh, x x and y y so based on this z axis only this plate will rotate like this i mean load is applying here so the chances are there the plate will rotate like this this plate is going to be rotate like this based on this i z z axis this is perpendicular to both i x x and i y y so that's why we are calculating the moment of inertia of i x x i y y and i z z so i x x of moment of inertia i here the shape of this uh, uh, this portion is rectangle i x x so i x x is 
for rectangle moment of inertia formula is b d cube by 12 plus a into y square so b b value we know that that is width of the section that is t welded portion and uh, d value is depth of the section that is 240 so 240 cube by 12 plus a into area 120 into t into y square y square means the distance that is 120 square into 2 so both sides we are doing the welding that is into 2 yes yeah. ixx okay next iyy iyy for rectangle for same rectangle iyv is from here uh, ixx is bd cube by 12 in iyv b cube d by 12 plus ax square same we are calculating so 120 cube that is b value d is thickness and 12 plus a, a is 240 into t and x a x distance that is 30 square next both sides we are doing doing welding that's why i wrote it as 2 so i got these two values ixx and iyy so for a perpendicular axis theorem uh, moment of inertia izz equal to ixx plus iyy that is adding these two values i got 532 8 m about 4 next i'm going to calculate radial distance radial distance means from here to center of gravity to this point this radial distance i need to calculate because why we are going to calculate this radial distance there are chances to rotate the plate in this direction this direction means if suppose plate is like this, uh, this the load is applying here the chance is like this the plate will rotate like this based on this as the axis so this is the radial portion so radial distance we need to find out so that is distance of extreme point of the weld from center of gravity so by center of gravity only it will rotate so that's why i'm calculate r max r max means the radial distance so this is r value okay now so r is root over we know the pythagoras theorem or uh, 3 4 5 rule uh, c equal to root over a square plus b square here i am taking this uh, r r is radial distance suppose we want this distance okay theta is here so tan uh, so theta is here and we know the, this distance and i know this distance this distance is half of this section this total is 240 and half of this section is 120 that's why i wrote 120 if suppose uh, i took it as uh, p p value and this is q value and now the formula is r equal to p square plus q square okay so now we know the p value p value is half of this portion this is 240 half is 120 and q q is from here to here distance is 30 already we calculated that is uh, x bar center of gravity value so here to here is 30 and the remaining portion is q so for that i am taking 120 minus 30 120 minus 30 so i got the q value that is 150 mm finally i got r value and next i need to calculate the theta theta is angle this angle okay so tan theta equal to opposite side by adjacent side we know the formula so opposite side is 120 that is p value and adjacent side is q that is 120 minus 30 already we done uh, by calculating this i got 1.333 so theta value tan theta equal to 1.333 theta equal to tan inverse 1.333 so theta equal to 53.129 so after that i am going to calculate eccentric distance eccentricity eccentricity means already i, I have shown this in, the, in this diagram from center distance to load point eccentricity but in our diagram we know the distance from here to here but not here to here so I am detecting eccentricity. So eccentricity means total this value is 100 and this value is 120. But I want to calculate from here to here. For that 100 plus 120 and remaining distance is 30. This is this distance. I am detecting this distance from this 120 minus 30 plus 100. So I got the value 190 mm okay next next direct shear stress direct shear stress means what we are doing is we are transferring the load 
this 100 kN load we are going to transfer to this column to distribute equally otherwise it will collapse okay that is this load is in direction and we are assuming that this load is going to be transferred in this direction for this column okay to this column so i am considering that f1 the transferring transferring load i am considering that f1 so shear stress equal to load by area we know the formula so load is 100 that is in kilonewtons i wrote it as 1010 cube that area we know that 480t starting we done so uh, we solving this i got 208.33t newton per mm square okay next next i am calculating the moment so moment is already i, I told you about here the chances are there the plate will twist like this the twisting moment the load is here the plate is here the load is here um, by applying the load the plate will twist like this okay for that we, we are going to calculate the moment so moment is already we know the formula moment is force into perpendicular distance here force is i'm calling as p this is force this direction and perpendicular distance is this one so perpendicular distance is eccentricity that is from center of gravity so eccentricity value is 190 so force equal to moment equal to force into perpendicular distance and r max is radial distance and in that uh, eccentric distance only it is involved that's why we are considering this r max that is 150 and i will thank you kilonewtons uh, changed into newtons so i z z value because uh, due to moment of inertia only it is rotating and uh, sorry due to perpendicular axis that is this is i z z already i told you okay that's why we are considering this i z z so finally i got f2 value so by considering the by calculating these two forces ultimately i'm going to calculate resultant force resultant, resultant force means summation of those two forces we are having the formula capital f that is resultant force f1 square plus f2 square plus 2 f1 f2 cos theta root over so i substituted all these values here i, I know the theta value f1 f2 value i wrote this uh, after calculating resultant force i cal i got this value 680.630 by t and uh, i consider this as a equation one next we need to find out the resistance of the weld i mean how much strength of the weld is there we need to calculate the strength of the weld so for strength of the weld code specified one formula that is page number uh, that is in page number 79 10.5.7.1.1 in is 800 2007 code book welding section the code specified that fw to equal to fw and by gamma mw fw and is nothing but fu by root 3 so fu fu is root 3 uh, fu is nothing but ultimate stress this value is available in code book so 410 by root 3 into gamma mw this is partial safety factor table number 5 page number 30 available in code book after calculating this i got 189.37 newton per mm square i consider this as equation 2 by equating 1 and 2 1 and 2 equation 60, 680.630 by t is equation 1 e equating 1 and 2 189.37 i got thickness that is throat thickness throat thickness is nothing but t equal to 3.594 mm so ultimately uh, we need to find out the size of the weld so size of the weld equal to thickness by 0.7 this 0.7 is specifying the code code is specifying that uh, in welded sections uh, code is in, in the same page number 79 page number uh, sorry 80 80 page number 80 uh, the 0.7 value is available uh, the code specifying that shall not be exceeded by 0.7 times of the t okay that's why i consider this 0.7 so 5.13 mm is our size of the weld so i'm uh, taking as provide 6 mm weld size okay this is the eccentric model problem and in the next class i am going to tell you uh, in the same eccentric model problem but uh, the bracket plate is connected in this problem the bracket plate is connected in the same plane same plane means in the same, uh, to this plate i mean it is overlapped by this bracket plate but in the next uh, uh, next model problem this plate will uh, join here only to the end of the face this is uh, in the face and this is from this end of the face this column face by using welding okay in the next video i'm going to uh, solve the uh, next model problem i hope all you understood this thank you thanks for watching